Hey everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. As you guys can see by the title, today we are doing a very extra wish haul. I haven't done a haul video, actually I did a haul video recently, but I haven't done a wish video in a very long time, let alone a very extra haul. Okay, so this is a video that has been popular on my channel and I just kind of stopped doing it, but I've seen your guys' comments. I know you want to see more, at least I hope you want to see more because now I'm doing it. But yeah, so today we are going to be doing a very extra haul of clothing, items, accessories, shoes, etc. from Wish. Now, if you don't know what Wish is, it's a brand it's crazy. It's a bunch of different sellers. Literally anything you could ever want or search or try and find the most obscure random product, you will find it on Wish. And that leads into some very extra clothing pieces that I don't know where you would go about shopping to find anywhere else, but Wish definitely has it and many of it. So a couple months ago, I did a little bit of shopping on Wish and I found what I thought was very extra. Now, of course, what I think is extra and what maybe some of you guys think is extra might be a little different, but I personally think we will all agree that at least a few of these pieces are very extra. Now I could ramble on and on about this, but I think as much as I love talking, I'm sure you guys just wanna see the products. So without further ado, let's get into this very extra Wish try on haul. All right, so I've got this huge Rubbermaid. I actually have so many pieces, way more pieces than I usually have in one haul video, but I thought, you know what? Why don't we just try a bunch of products? There's so many. I've been ordering like a crazy person. And okay, I ordered all this quite a while ago to the point where every time I open something, I'll probably have to take a second to remember what it is because it's been that long since I ordered it, which I personally think is really fun. I like being surprised all over again. It's like someone random ordered it and I'm looking at it, but really that someone random was me three months ago. So first product, I'm just gonna reach in. I see something red, so I wanna try it on. Here we go. So, okay, this little red, I actually think I might know what this one is. Okay. I don't know if this was like Fenty's product where it was like this big kind of like see-through robe with fluff. It got super popular. I saw it on so many like Twitter things like me waking up in the morning wearing this. I don't know, but Wish had its own rendition. Okay, so alrighty. So first things first, I can honestly say that, what is this fabric? I am so bad at fabric and you guys teach me a new fabric like every single day, but I just, I can't keep the knowledge in my head. But this actually feels nice. Like I think this is like a tool of sorts and it's very soft, very like flowy and drapey. The only thing is in the picture, this fluffy part is like so much thicker and so much more bold. I just feel like this one's a little bit lacking. That being said, this might be a cute moment. I'm not sure. I am going to be putting it on over clothing. So, because obviously I'm not going to put it on over nothing. I don't know if this will be like a fail or an awesome thing. We will see. I'll put it on. But I do think that this is very extra. And I know a few people who actually wear things Things like this and I would consider them very extra and that is not a bad thing. All right, so I've already officially gotten red fluff basically all over the place, so I may as well get it all over my clothes right now. So I'm gonna throw this on. I'm kind of like, this is the epitome of like expectations versus reality because when you look at the actual picture, it's like so much more bougie. Like, I don't not like this. I actually really do like it, but I only like it if I didn't see what it was actually supposed to be. Like, that's kind of the verdict on this. I think I wore, I mean, do I have it inside out? When you're not used to being extra. Hold on. Initiate static mode. Oh no. I actually feel like it right way out does look a little bit better. Okay, it's very staticky, but I actually feel like the verdict on this is it's actually like a cute moment. I don't think it's as like ba-boom as the picture it was sold with. Like I feel like the picture of what it sold with definitely has a lot more like drama. It's got bigger sleeves, bigger ruffle, goes right to the floor, but this isn't half bad. Like this is a Wish remake and this is kind of what I expected. It's a little better because it's actually like nice and soft. Like I could definitely see myself wearing this as a overcoat. I would give it like a 7.4 out of 10. Oh my gosh, I'm just realizing I have red fluff and like feathers all over the place. Look at it on my shoulders. What? Oh my goodness. 
it's shedding on me. Okay, next I see a little bit of like pink latexy material. So I never really get a good look at like what's in the bags. I just open them up a little bit just so I can see, is it the right product? And this is kind of like an ode to my first ever extra haul where I tried that like really light pink latex dress. That was hilarious. Still to this day, people comment and like tell me about how that was ill-fitting to say the least so let us see if we can have a second chance with a latex dress we will see <laughs> it's like literally sticking so tightly together okay which way which way is the front and which way is the back i'm not sure i feel like the low neck would be the front just based on what I think I can remember. This feels like it's gonna be a little bit big for me, but of course we will still try it on. I love the pink. The latex feels decent. Latex is kind of one of those fabrics that's a little bit uncomfortable to wear just because it does stick to you. And if you, like any other human being, you sweat, latex is a little difficult. The inside of this though isn't like the plasticky feeling. It's just like, it just resonates. Like the fact that it's like this like rubbery material. For a good look, it might be worth it. So let me throw it on, see if we can redeem ourselves with the latex dress. I'm not sure. Immediately I like this one more just cause it's more pink. So we'll see. All right guys, I don't think I have yet redeemed myself with the latex dress. I'm actually surprised by the fit of this because it fits okay up here and it fits okay down here. But then like right here, it's really bulky, which is strange because like the product picture, the woman has like a very small waist. So I thought if anything right here would be just like too tight, like a very unreasonably small waist, but it actually gives a lot of room in here. So I feel like if it was a little bit tighter, then we would have redeemed our latex dress because this wouldn't have fit that bad. I definitely think this is like your official Barbie pink moment. Um, it's just like really bad fitting. And I don't know, I am an odd shape. We all know it. But I do feel like this would be hard to fit anybody just because like it doesn't have a ton of give to it. Oh, oh my gosh, it's giving out. I like it though, and I actually do like it more than the other latex dress I tried, so I would take that as a win. Okay, next we have a little yellow package. I don't know what is in here. Is this another like latex? This looks latex too. Okay, is this gonna be like a latex overload? What is this? Are these latex pants? You guys, I think I might have bought latex pants too. Oh my gosh. I love just the pulling apart. Like, is this what your pants should do? Love that. <laughs> the zipper goes all the way from the front, down and down and around all the way. Oh my gosh, like, I wonder what the use of that would be. Just like, instead of like pulling your pants down, you just zip it down the middle and pull off each individual leg. Now that's a concept. So we've got double the latex today. Let me throw these on, see if pants are any better. I don't know, I kind of doubt it. You guys. I'm not feeling too good about the fit of these jeans. I don't know about you, but they feel like they might be a little bit loose. <laughs> There's a lot of gapping back here, but it's so strange because like the ankles were like unbelievably hard to get on. And like I would consider myself to have very normal, maybe even small ankles. But then right when we got into here, now I'll admit I'm not the thickest in the booty area and maybe that's what's serving me bad in these pants. It's quite large and I got these in a small, so just use that to your own discretion if you're gonna get these pants. The zipper's very strange. It does in fact zip all the way down and then all the way up the back. Like I've just unzipped my pants in a very peculiar fashion. Now I need to zip them back up before I flash everyone. Ah, and I can't get them back on. I've just fully unzipped my pants to no prevail and I like literally, I think I broke the zipper. Like I can't get them back on. If you're gonna wear these pants and show everyone that your zipper zips all the way up, just know that you won't be able to zip them back up. Oh wait, just kidding. Okay, false alarm, the zipper did work. Not a huge fan of these pants. They just are not fitting very well. I usually, I feel like if I was wearing like this type of fabric that's like plasticky latex, I think it's just gotta be skin tight. So they're just not tight enough for me. Next, we have a little package. I believe that this is an accessory. I can kind of remember this one. I'm actually very excited about this because I personally think out of all the extra pieces, this is maybe one that I would actually wear. 
So it is this rhinestone belt. It's so cute. Like, oh my gosh, look at this belt buckle. The ad on Wish definitely sold me because it just looked like, it looked like one of those like eye catching pieces that is like not too much, you know? Definitely, I don't think it would do the job of a belt though. Like, would it hold up my pants? I'm not sure. I don't know if I trust it with that. I feel like this is such a statement for any outfit that you're wearing. Like if you were wearing all black or something and then just had this as your belt and you went somewhere where there was gonna be like a uh, spotlight and it hit this belt, Game over, I really like it. Uh, we'll see if it actually can hold up my pants. I think that will be the test of it because it's one thing to look cute, but I also want it to be functionable, functioning. So let's see. This is the absolute perfect time to test this belt because I do in fact have some ill-fitting pants that literally don't fit me at all. So let's see if this can do its job. Oh my goodness, it's too thick for in the, these. It's like too thick for the belt loops. Every single loop is a struggle. And now I'm starting to get hot, okay. Oh no, I'm breaking it! It's breaking! All the little glitters are falling onto the ground, oh no! I don't think this belt was built for like anything more than an Instagram post maybe. I'll just put it on where I can. This wasn't really how I was intending to show this belt, but it broke halfway through, so now it's a butt belt. There it is. It actually looks so good, like especially with the filming lights, it's totally glistening with all of the lights shining on it. Like I honestly love it. The only bad part is it didn't fit in the belt loop, and as I was like pushing it through, each individual crystal started to pop out, so it's obviously not very like sturdy or like made well but if you guys want like an instagram picture i think that's as far as this belt can be pushed anything more would be too much for it all right let us see what the next thing is all the bags are like so loud what this looks like like a clear little nylon rhinestone situation all right what is this oh my goodness is it like a neck? Is this supposed to... I mean, I think I know where that's supposed to go, but the... What? What did I buy? Oh my gosh, you guys. Is this a dress? Is this a dress? I'm so confused. Okay, so it's just like a clear mesh dress with rhinestones. Rhinestones specifically put in places to cover certain parts of your body. Now, I will definitely be wearing underwear with this. For sure, but let us put it on. It feels really soft. Like I'm actually kind of impressed because everything so far has felt like good quality. Like sometimes I worry about fabrics like this that they'll be really itchy, but this one feels really good. So I will throw it on. All right, I have nothing to say. This is probably pretty much completely blurred, but uh, this isn't it. The top piece that's supposed to cover isn't, and then the bottom piece that's supposed to cover is like much too high. So. I don't think I have a super long torso, but this is just, this is not it. Like, I don't understand this outfit. That being said though, it is very extra. I just personally think usually things that are extra look good. I don't think this looks good. I don't think it's very flattering. I think if anything, I would say that it's funny to me. That's probably what I would think most of it. it. Gets like a two out of 10, I don't like it. It's comfortable though, cause I'm pretty much wearing nothing, but I'll give it a two out of 10. Okay, I remember this. It's like a pink bralette and it's got fluff on it. I have not seen anything really like this on <laughs> on Wish. I would say that this is very extra. I might have to put this on with the latex pants that we've already tried. But so it's basically like a bra situation, but it's got all this fluff on it and this metal little circle in the center. Now, the ads really sold this because it's got this really, really long strap. So you're supposed to like tie it around your waist quite a bit. I don't know the situation you would wear this to, maybe to like a festival of sorts. I'm not sure. I personally probably wouldn't, but I think that it would be really cute. So let me put it on. We'll see how extra I can get. Okay, I think when I initially paired these two things, together I was thinking the pants would look better so I'm just gonna zoom in so we don't have to look at the pants anymore all right so let's just focus on the top because actually I think this top is adorable personally I wouldn't wear it on an everyday basis and probably not even to a music festival 
But if I saw someone else wearing it to a music festival, I would think it was pretty darn cute. Now my pants are absolutely exploding, but it's like a wraparound type situation and it's just basically like a bra like top and it's all fluffy and pink. It's seriously so cute. And I feel like when you do have these wraparounds, it does make your waist look smaller than it actually is. So it's one of those little illusion situations. I think so far, this is like my favorite thing. I wouldn't personally wear it, but if you live an extra life and you like to dress with like extra pieces, this is one thing from Wish that I actually think is pretty cute. There is this little black, piece of fabric with a ton of buckles on it. Okay, this feels very inexpensive. What are these pants? Oh my gosh, I think these are pants. Okay, so they're like these legging feeling pants and then down the entire side are these buckles. So I don't know how underwear works into this situation unless it's just gonna be blatantly obvious but it's completely clear or completely open down the leg. Like here, you can see my arm, see what I mean? Yeah, these should be interesting. All right, you know me, just wearing some normal leggings up to my armpits, you know? But then there is a twist and that is whoop boom! Completely showing my whole leg. This is crazy. I am wearing my underwear just because like these are kind of see-through. I thought these were gonna be really big, but the main thing is like they go up so high. Like they can go up to literally there. This is insane. Like, are you guys seeing this? Like these metal things, like you know when you put your foot in jeans and they just keep coming out the ripped holes? That was this. Like every single hole, my foot would just jam out of it until I eventually had it all the way put on. This is absolutely ridiculous. I kind of like them. I would never have the confidence to wear these in public. They're absolutely ridiculous, but they're kind of cool. Like I don't mind them. Very extra. They're super comfortable. Whew. I don't think they're the best quality leggings, but they're not bad. Like I don't mind it. All right, this is like the heaviest package yet, but I don't... Okay, is this a two-piece or did I accidentally buy two of them? It's got sort of like the exact same build as that like mesh dress that only had specific rhinestones covering certain spots, but I think I might have got two by accident. I don't know why I bought two or how I accidentally bought two or if they accidentally ship me two, but I've got two of these. I'll put one on. They actually look like really cute. Like when I used to figure skate, this looks like kind of like a figure skating dress. I don't hate this one. Okay, this one's hard for me because I kind of had high hopes for it when I saw it. I felt like it's a cut that I probably would like. It has a turtleneck and a high neckline. I think let's just ignore the fact that it is kind of see-through. Like I can see that I am in fact wearing blue, dark blue underwear under here. So if you do like it, you would have to wear nude, obviously. I think I should size down one if it was possible, but I think I did get the smallest size, but like hypothetically, if there was one smaller, I think that this would actually be like really nice. I like that it's like an open back. I don't love that my whole butt is showing. Honestly, think if it was a size smaller, this would be like a nine out of 10. All right, second last product. This one I do remember as well. Now this one is very, Hardcore, okay? First, this big belt buckle that I'm not exactly sure what it's used for just yet. Maybe it'll make more sense. Oh no, this is just gonna be like a million pieces of fabric. So we've got the top, it's a two piece, and then the buckle wraps around. And then for the bottoms, they're like these shorts that have huge openings on here. This reminds me of like things people would wear to Coachella. Um, I personally probably wouldn't wear this to Coachella, but I'm excited to see what it looks like. And then there's just this extra belt. So I think like the idea is like lots of different buckles going on here. I think it'll make more sense when I put it on. So let me do that. All right, I've seen this outfit probably a hundred times at Coachella. This is such a Coachella staple. I swear I've seen like hundreds of girls running around in this. I am wearing my bra under this just because my bra is in disarray and I'm worried that if I don't wear it, something crazy will happen. But I don't mind the fit of this. I like how it's comfortable. I personally wouldn't wear it. I do think it's very extra and I'm actually impressed with the quality, like from Wish. This is like not bad. It's a little bit see-through, which is a little bit scary, especially like 
if I was to sweat, this would like fully just turn transparent. This is obviously a lot of skin, but this is an extra try on haul. And honestly, quality is good. It looks like the picture, the fit is good. The, the fabric feels like surprisingly thick. I personally would say that this is like, I hate to say it, I hate to say it, but this is like a 10 out of 10. Okay, last but certainly not least, we have like this metallic pink outfit. What is this? Is this just a top? It's just like a sweater top. I feel like it's being drowned out because of all the other things that are so much more extra, but it is just like a sparkly, metallic-y, purpley pink and silver top, so I'll put it on. Okay, try not to let the pants steal the show, but I've got my sparkly hoodie on. I really like it. This has been the only fabric though that's actually really uncomfortable. It's like kind of itchy, but it's actually also the one style that is kind of normal. Like it's just a cropped hoodie and I really do like it. I wonder if it's like reflective or anything. I don't remember if that was like a selling feature. It's very eye catching. The pocket's like way up here. So my arms would be like, <laughs> like a little dinosaur up in my pocket. Give it like an eight out of 10. It's just a little uncomfortable. <sighs> all right, so now that there is still red fluff all over the place from the first thing I tried on, but okay, trying on a whole bunch of extra products from Wish. It's been a while since we did this. What do you guys think? Did you enjoy it? Which product was your guys' favorite? I absolutely have no idea which one was mine because Honestly, it's maybe gotta be the white two-piece set. I feel like that one was like the best quality one. And I'm like most impressed with how that one looks just like the picture. So I'm gonna give that one my choice. Round of applause for it. This sweater is extremely itchy, but it's very cute. Uh, there's always a little bit of a miss with Wish on products, but I think for the most part, a lot of these products did turn out. Hopefully I reviewed them well enough for you guys if you're interested in any of them, or hopefully it was just entertaining. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to click the subscribe button and hit the bell if you wanna see when I post more videos. Oh, I'm out of breath. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to let me know if you wanna see anything in specific and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!